So, hello Tina. Okay. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. So, I just want to ask you what your experience is like when you first came to Romania and uh, Craiova. Well, um, I am honest, I had very low expectations on Romania because I'm from Germany and in Germany you usually have very very bad prejudices about about Romanians and mm -hmm. stuff, but mm. when I came here, yeah. I got impressed by a lot of things, mm -hmm. especially by the cars they are driving here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, and also the buildings and the people, the nice people here, they're very friendly, very open-minded, very impressive actually. So expectations were fulfilled. Right. So it do it doesn't sound like as bad as it, uh, people say about Romania, right? No, not at all, not at all. No. So what about the city that you live in, right, Craiova? The city that I live in is a small city, a small few mm -hmm. cities, so it is, you can reach actually everything quite... So they have all the facilities yeah, that you exactly, need, right? exactly. Okay. And it's also a very safe city, I've noticed mm -hmm. that, like, if I get out late at night... Yeah, you don't even um, no, think about anything. No, no, no. It's, it's oh, like well, that's amazing. It's actually nice. So, um, what about the the environment, the university, and everything else? The environment between the students and the teachers are actually much better than expected. I thought. Yeah. yeah I thought it's like usually it's like that that the lecturers are unreachable mm -hmm. like they don't care about the students at all they just get into the room yeah. take their lectures and get out again but no it's not like that at all it's kind of even like high school where the teacher runs behind runs the students, behind the students right right yeah and i see they care about the students they talk to them they they um oh. so they help them a lot if they have, ever exactly. need any help that's good yeah, yeah. How about the, the professors? Are they nice? Uh, yeah, they're very nice, very nice. Very also intellectual, like, they're very well educated, they explain mm. you very well, their English is also much better than expected, That's so true. you understand them mm. perfectly. Okay. Perfectly. And how about the, the, the friends in the university, how are you getting along with them? How is the society life? I'm not sure if you're more or less <coughs> forced to get friends with people mm -hmm. here, but... Because everyone's basically new, everyone yeah, is from abroad, so everyone came by their seven is alone. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually glad that this is like that, because because of that I found so many new and good people mm. with new mentalities and new cultures, yes. and you get more open, more open-minded, and get okay. more experience. So the big difference between Germany and Romania is that you meet a lot of different uh, international students. Yeah, exactly, which is great, I think. Yeah, of course. That's good. And uh, how, how did you manage to get into medical school in Romania? Well, um, I wanted to get a study place for sure because I was looking for yeah. almost two years for a study place in Germany and around Germany. Yeah. And I was kind of really frustrated then, so I found the agency mm -hmm. by a um, friend of mine who recommended me them a lot, mm -hmm. so I, I applied by them. Which agency is this? It's What's it called? Meddling Students. And uh, before you applied through them, did you speak to any one of them and what was your experience with them? Well, it's actually a very personal conversation, you directly right. talk to the to the, uh, well, I did at least, talk yeah. to the um, head of the agency. I see, okay. And they're all students, mm -hmm. so they they, they They're also students, did yeah, you say? they're also okay. students, so they're actually in the situation I want to get in right So now. then that sounds like that they know what they're doing then, I'm yeah, guessing, exactly, yeah? Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's good. And what about the, how was, how challenging was the application and going through of everything and getting a place in the Not university? Not challenging at all. I didn't have to care about anything. Yeah. They said, they promised me that they would do and care for everything, which they did. So mm. they picked me up from the airport, they did the application. Yeah. And I was impressed that I got accepted even by two universities, yeah, exactly. though I didn't know it. Which one was the other university? Was it in which it city? Was Bucharest. Bucharest? Yes. Car Do you remember? Carol Davila? Okay. Carol Davila, yeah. 
So what made you to decide between uh, the Carlo Davila and the university in Craiova? Um, did you want to like study, to stay in like a more quieter city then? Yeah, okay. yeah. And I also knew like a few people here, so I thought. Okay. That's good. At okay. Least. So when you came here, they picked you up from the airport, and then what happened? Did they provide you with accommodation? Yeah, yeah, they did that, and um, even okay. though it had some difficulties, yeah, but they still cared for me a lot, and they didn't let me out of their eyes. That's good. <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay, so is there anything else that you'd like to add about the Romania, the university, the meddling agency, everything into in together, just to close the? Well, the, I would really. recommend it Romania a lot, to be honest, because. Um, the prices here, especially for the universities, beside that, it's it's a very good price mm. for what you're actually getting because you get yeah. way more than what you get in the Western countries. Yeah, that's you true. You get fr from the fir third year into the hospital and get like really into the job, into the thing. So you're exposed more into the practical side with yeah, the yeah, patients yeah, yeah. Uh, that from the third year onward, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Which is that's not the case in Germany, for example. Right, I see. So that's I'm sh I'm assuming when you complete your degree, that's make it a lot easier for you to get back to Germany. Exactly. Oh, yeah. that's cool. I'm even better prepared than the German students. Yeah. Well, I mean, as a doctor, you would have to have a lot of um, clinical experiences exactly. in order to be a good doctor. Yeah, yeah. It's not about just the knowledge, I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Tina. Yeah, I'm really glad to speak to you and uh, share your experience with us. It's yes. great. Thank you. Pleasure. So hello Tina, um, I just wanted to ask you again about your um, final uh, experience uh, overall uh, about the Medlink students, the, the agency that you mentioned. Well, they're actually really good. I can highly recommend them because they care a lot about you. So the first thing they did, they picked me up from the airport on time, mm -hmm. even though I had a delay, so the poor guy was waiting <laughs> for an hour or something. And he drove me to the center, he drove me everywhere I wanted to, like, I was very hungry. Yeah. So he drove me to the best restaurant in the town. And nice. We were eating together and he was telling me, like, uh, but, explain me everything about the city, about the university, like, mm. enlighten me, basically, mm -hmm. about the whole situation, how nice. it works here. And he said that, not only him, mm -hmm. the whole agency, like, yeah. even the head of the agency, is there always reachable like even if I call them yeah. in the middle of the night they always reply me as quick as possible mm -hmm. which is really good and I really appreciate especially that because in moments if you're stressed yeah exactly especially during, during like if you want to fly back to your hometown yeah, or something yeah. or organize stuff then you're stressed you want to have a quick answer and they yeah. do it they do it very quick which is really good and what I also appreciate is opposite to the agencies in Germany that yeah. the students or the people who work for that agency, yeah. they are in the university itself. Mm. So they actually experience it. They know how it works. So has anyone actually graduated from the, the school, the medical school that yes, you know? Yes, they have. They have graduated from the school where I am at, currently studying at. Yeah. Yes. Is that in which city, which university is that? Craiova? Uh, Craiova, okay. yeah. And even one of the head students graduated just last year. Recently, okay. Yeah, from the same university. So he's always reachable. I can always text him, mm. call him. He will always reply me. And So this makes it a lot easier for for them to get the students in because they've already had good connections exactly. with them because they have already studied themselves exactly. they're in there in the position that mm -hmm. they know what they are doing mm -hmm. because they've been there through themselves exactly, exactly. Yeah. why german agencies never put their foot on the medical campus mm -hmm. so it's always like questionable how much they guarantee you actually a certain place why medlink does but sometimes like um People say it's very intimidating having to choosing an agency which runs by students uh, to go and th uh, apply for a medi for medicine medical schools. Do you think um, that that's actually not true? Because uh, if you're a student yourself, 
And if you're a student yourself in a medical school, you already know what you're doing. So in fact, that's a better idea than having to go with someone who has not put their foot, like you said, into that city or that uh, country. And how will the agent, how will the person who is actually not at that university know how the university, how the dean of the university works or how the structure of the university exactly, works. Exactly. So the student himself is in that university right now, yeah. so he can go at least and talk to the secretary mm. or to the dean or whoever and link me the information yeah. while I am but whatever, yeah. Exactly. away. Yeah, exactly. This is what I really appreciate and really count on this mm, agency. So it sounds like the big difference between them is that some of the agencies claim that they know everything, but they're not even part of it. Exactly. And some of the agencies, such as, like you mentioned, meddling students, mm-hmm. such as them, they're actually in there themselves. They yeah. know what they're doing, and exactly. they know what to expect, and they know what uh, they want from you in order to apply for you as a medical mm-hmm. student to get into medicine, yeah? Yeah, exactly. That sounds good. Better. Okay, is there anything else that you wish to add? Beside the organization and stuff they also made me hmm. friends like they made the first day okay. when i came to romania i didn't know anyone and the first thing they did was to introduce you me. okay exactly well that's a good thing introducing me to a few yeah. other students of the same agency applying through the same agency yeah so I see. it turned out that these were actually the long lasting relationships yeah, I sure. have now. So of course. It's very good. That's really good. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Really I appreciate that. Thank you. You're